Hey everybody, what's going on? That's an airbag. That's an airbag connector. Put two and two together. You know what we're gonna do? This airbag came out of a friend's 2019 F-350. Uh, somebody cut him off and he hit the horn pretty hard and you can see he, the, uh, he broke it. So when he came to visit me over the summertime, I put a new airbag in it for him. And uh, we are going to connect this connector into that hole and connect it to a battery that's on the ground and it's gonna go boom, okay? First of all, how does this work? Uh, this is the driver, front, driver frontal airbag. This is the one that's in the steering wheel. Same thing with the passenger side. There's crash sensors in the front, okay? Those crash sensors are monitored by the restraint control module, which is below the center console. The restraint control module also has a dedicated line to the body control module, okay? So in the event of a crash, those sensors send a signal to the restraint control module. The restraint control module sends a signal to, just say this airbag, depending on where it got hit, and it sends a current to it and poof, the airbag blows up. But at the same time, it sends a signal on that dedicated line to that body control module and cuts off fuel. That way, the engine's not still running. You don't have fuel spraying everywhere. Now, just because all the airbags didn't deploy does not mean there's a fault in the system. It just really depends on where the vehicle got hit. So if you got hit in the driver front corner, it may not deploy the side curtain airbags. It's not going to deploy the side airbag in the back. You got T-bone that's gonna do the side curtain. So it really depends. And all this information happens so fast by the time you can say, oh, sh okay. So let's put this down on the ground. I'm gonna put my safety goggles on. I got safety goggles for you guys too. And I have hearing protection and we're gonna hook it to the battery and watch this thing go boom. I got the battery. Slide that over there. Airbag. First, let me give you guys your safety goggles. Safety first. Safety first. Put your safety goggles on you. All right, you got your safety goggles on, you can see now. Okay. I don't have hearing protection for you, so you guys are gonna have to plug your ears. I got my hearing protection right here. I'll put it on in a second, but we're gonna connect the airbag. It only goes in one way. So there's a little notch up inside there, notch right there. Push it in, click it down. I'm gonna go set this over here. I'm gonna, and this wire actually came from a All I'm gonna do is take these two wires and just touch the positive and negative of the battery. Oh, this, this uh, wire actually came from the end of it. It came from the clock spring to the, to the airbag module. And uh, so I just connect the wire to it, put felt around it. So you guys ready? You guys ready? In five, four, three, two. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna give you guys five seconds to go subscribe and like. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Did you like and subscribe? All right, cool. Back to the battery. All right, ready? It's gonna be quick. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> it landed on top of a toolbox. You guys want to see that in slow-mo? Let's see it in slow-mo. That is warm and it stinks. And it's hot. Very hot. Very, very hot. I want my wire back off of here.
so I can kind of I'll hold that up so you guys can see it. So it sent an electrical charge and it went kapoof. And that thing went way up there. So I'm gonna leave that on the ground. Let's see that in slow motion. 